Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Tor Olson, Software QA here at Digital Anarchy, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to download and install any of our photo or video plugins. So this is going to be a pretty short and sweet tutorial, so we'll get started right away. Here we're on the main page for the Digital Anarchy website, and there's two ways that you can get to any of our trials. The first is obviously by going to free trials and choosing the uh, OS that you'll be using. In this case, since we're on Mac, we're going to go to Mac Demos. And here we have a list of all of our video as well as photo plugins. Another way that you can easily access any of these is by going to your plugin of choice, uh, say Flickr Free, and right on the sidebar you'll be able to see that I can click on this free demo page, which will take me automatically to the plugin I wanted to choose. So from here, we would just choose the host application we're planning on using our plugin in. In this case, uh, I'll just use Flickr Free in After Effects slash Premiere as our example. And we got the download going. And from here, we'll be able to see that we can open up our DMG file. At which point, we can take our package file and open it. And this will open up the installer for us. And this will be fairly straightforward. What you're going to do is just continue. Go ahead and continue. And this is our software license agreement. You can read or what more commonly happens, just completely ignore and continue and accept the document. And at this point, you need to pay a little more attention. Depending on the version of After Effects or the version of the software you're going to be using, we have to designate which version of the software we want to install our plugin for. So you can see that I have CS5 through Creative Cloud on this computer. But if you wanted to say only download the plugin for Creative Cloud, I could just uncheck all of these options as well. But might as well since we have all of them on the computer. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and click continue. It'll tell me how much space I'm going to be taking up on my OS 1010 Yosemite install. We'll go ahead and install that. I'll type in my password. And voila, it will take us to the registration page. It's really helpful for us to get information on our users to tell who is using our program and for what reason. So in this case, I could just type in um, my name, Tor my email address I am coming from the US here in right now sunny California and also determine uh, where I got the information about the plugin at which point I can go ahead and click submit and that's really it. At that point, um, I can go into the host application that I just installed it for, and I'll be able to find it in the filter or effects menu. But one thing that's very important when troubleshooting is figuring out where the plugin was installed to. And in that case, I can go to my finder and figure out where everything is located. In the case of photo apps, what's going to happen is that the plugin is installed to the actual application folder. So I would start from my root folder here at OS 1010, go into applications, down to Adobe Photoshop, plugins, and there's my digital anarchy folder with all of my digital anarchy plugins. Now this isn't the case for Lightroom, which is the other photo editing app we support. If I wanted to access that, I would go to applications, down to Digital Anarchy, and there you can see I have my Lightroom apps installed here. Now for video, it's all fairly straightforward. It's going to be located in my library folder. So instead of going through Applications, I'm going to go into my library folder, into Application Support, Adobe, and into Common. Now from here I can go into any one of the following folders. If you install the plugin into the Creative Cloud plugin set, I could go into 7.0 and it will be in Media Core along with all my other plugin families. In the case of Final Cut 7 or Final Cut 10.0.9 and earlier, it's going to be located in the FX plug 
folder within library plugins FX and there I'll be able to find my digital anarchy folder this is not the same for Final Cut 10.1.4 and later you're gonna to want to go into applications instead of library go into digital anarchy and it's located in the same place where our Lightroom plugins were located before finally for our last two in the case of Avid, you're going to want to go into Library, Application Support, and it'll be in Avid under the AVX2 plugin set. And there's our family right there of beautiful plugins. And lastly, for OFX apps, that means Nuke, DaVinci Resolve, Scratch, and others, you're going to want to go into Library and OFX. And it'll just be in the plugins folder in there. And there we are. So this is all very valuable in the case that you open up your host app and you can't find our plugin in your effects or filters menu. You can go into your finder and check out the file paths for your designated host app and see if our plugin isn't actually installed. And if that is the case, you can either try to reinstall or if that doesn't work, give us a shout out at sales at digitalanarchy.com and we'll be able to respond as soon as we're able. So now that we know where to download and install any of our given plugins for any of the given host apps, we're going to take a look at where the plugins are located in each host app and how to apply them to your footage. In the case of After Effects, as will be the case with most of the host applications, it's fairly straightforward. You would find in the Effects and Presets menu over here, the Digital Anarchy plugin family. Open up the drop down, and in this case we're going to be doing some skin smoothing, so I would click and drag Beauty Box over to my footage directly in the preview window or onto the clip down here, the layer. And voila, we've applied Beauty Box to our footage. In the case of Premiere, it's going to be something similar. In this case, I would go down to my effects palette, go over to my video effects, scroll down to Digital Anarchy open up the drop down and again I can just take my plug in and click and drag it onto my clip and I will be able to see all of its controls and the effect controls with Final Cut it'll be much the same going over to my effects window which is this button right here I'll be able to go down to my video effects and choose the digital anarchy family and in this case I'll be adding light wrap fantastic to my footage and I would just click and drag it onto my clip and they're all my effects in the effects inspector. For OFX, some of the most common uses we get are in Resolve, Scratch, and Vegas. In the case of Resolve, I would go to my color tab, go up to the OFX button in the upper right hand corner, click on it, and from here I'll be able to find my digital anarchy family along with all the plugins that are relevant. From here I would just click and drag it onto my node. There you can see the designation that there is a open effects effect applied. On the right sidebar, you'll be able to see that all the effect controls are there as well. Along the lines of OFX, applying the effect in Scratch, what I would want to do uh, initially is create a layer. Uh, I would be able to access this through the Layers tab at the top of the screen. I'll just rename this uh, BB for Beauty Box. Then, what I would want to do is select Shot, and from here, select Insert, and here I'll be able to access any of my plugins, such as Beautybox. I can either double click or apply the selection. For Avid, first what you'll want to do is find the plugin that you'll be applying to your clip. In this case, I'm going to go to Tools and go to the Effect Palette. The shortcut is also Command-8. And from here, I'll be able to find the Digital Anarchy family and apply our effect. Click and drag directly onto your clip. And I'll be able to review any of the parameters for the effect by going to the Effect Editor, once again, under Tools. And voila, there they all are. For Lightroom, what I can do to apply my effect is I can either right click and select Edit In to find any of the plugins that I have installed. 
in this case uh, BB Box, Primat, and Tune It. Or I could go to Photo, Edit In, and select my plugin from here as well. In this case, it'll be Beauty Box. I'll just go ahead and edit it as a TIFF file, and it should open up the UI to Beauty Box. And finally, for Photoshop, what I'll do here is I would just go into Filter, and near the bottom of my filter list, there should be a drop down for all of my digital anarchy plugins. In this case, I would bring this into, uh, say, TuneIt. And again, a lot like Lightroom will open up a separate window to open up the TuneIt UI, where you can edit your photo. And that's really all there is to installing and finding the plugin in your given host application. If you want to give any of our plugins a try in your host app of choice, you can go to digitalanarchy.com, where we have free trials of all of our software, as well as many other very useful tutorials. Again, I'm Tor Olson, software QA here at Digital Anarchy, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.